I want to succeed at improving myself, but find it hard to push on. Well, then, Christine, you've got a choice. You can give up. Seriously, Christine, you've got to remind yourself this. Let me share with you this analogy. Every year, people participate in marathons. Some people never even ran a marathon in their life. And every single person participating finishes that marathon or gets close to finishing and they feel liberated. True, true, by the way. But imagine this. Imagine, Christine, now you were participating in the marathon. The only difference is this. Imagine somebody has forced you to participate in the marathon. No matter how much you enjoy running, how many of you agree you would probably detest or hate the entire experience? Yes or no? Yes or no? You will. And the reality is most of us in life, we approach life in the same way, as if our circumstances are being imposed on us. Let me remind you this. You have got a choice. In every single moment, you have got a choice. You don't have to move forwards, by the way. You can settle in a place where perhaps you don't belong. How many of you agree? Notice there's a very big difference between the language pattern of I have to versus I choose to. And notice how that begins to make you feel psychologically, biologically different. What do I really mean? How many of you agree when most people are circulating money, right? Such as circulating money for their tax bill, they often go through that process as if that circumstance is being imposed on them. True, true. They're often saying to themselves in that moment, I have to do my taxes today. And how do they normally feel in that moment? How do they normally feel? Do they feel empowered or disempowered? Which one? Do they feel good or bad? Do they feel great or terrible? Which one? The latter, yes or no, by the way. The latter, yes or no, by the way. Most people in that moment, they say, oh, I have to do the taxes. Let me remind you this. You don't have to do taxes. Did you know that? <laughs> you don't have to do anything. But you're choosing to do the taxes. Why? Well, let me ask you, what happens if you don't pay taxes in your country? What happens? What happens? <laughs> well, eventually, after the enough tax bill, you will be sent to prison. So think about that. You are choosing to avoid that. Hence why you're choosing to actually do the taxes in that moment. And how many notice by saying to yourself, I'm choosing to do this now, you feel so different? Yes or no? I'm choosing to do taxes because you are. Nobody's imposing on you. You don't have to pay it, by the way. But you're choosing it. Remember, the circumstances don't have power over you. You have got power over you. You are in control always. So choose to be more responsible. Stop walking through life like circumstances are being imposed on you. Stop being the victim of your circumstance. Choose to be responsible. Responsibility. Respond better. Is this making sense? Christine, you have chosen to push on. Why did you choose that? Why? You knew it's going to be hard. You knew it's going to be challenging. But one could say, Christine, you chose that because you want to avoid the biggest life's regret, the hell on earth, which is what? Getting to the end of our life and the person we became meeting the person we could have become. The hell on earth. Yes or no? Us getting to the end of our life and us watching the highlight showreel of the life we could have lived. You're choosing to move forward. Embrace that, accept that, and you'll notice you're giving yourself back the power, the power you have. The greatest form of power as a human being is your power of choice. Because everything you're saying yes to or no to is determining your life. So ask yourself, is what I'm going to do today going to either make my life better or bitter? It's your choice. Embrace it. And in that moment, you'll continue to move forwards. As a great Rumi once said, how do you expect yourself to be polished if you're irritated by every single rub? Embrace it. Embrace the process of becoming. Fall in love with this process of becoming. Because let me remind you, you are not shaped, you are not truly transcending when you are going through good times. When you're sat back on the beach sipping margarita, that's not when you're growing. You're growing when you're being challenged and tested. You're growing when you're going through these moments. It is these moments that are strengthening you mentally, spiritually, emotionally, physiologically. I mean, if you agree, embrace it. 
This is the process of becoming. And before long, you'll fall in love with this process. This is what we like to call freedom to. What do I really mean? In our culture, we worship freedom from. We believe true freedom is a freedom as an absence of restraint. I'm here to say there's a greater, higher level of freedom in life. Would you like to know what it is? Would you like to know what it is? It's called freedom to. Think about this. If you want to have the freedom to play the piano, you got to commit and dedicate and fall in love with the process of practicing the piano. If you want to have one day the freedom to play that piano, yes or no? Just like in this life, the game called life, if you really want to have the freedom to play and express, then you got to commit. You got to fall in love with the process of becoming and one day you've got the freedom to play. Yes or no, by the way, embrace it. That's what it's all about, Christine. Everyone's feeling what you're feeling right now, including me. We're embracing it and we're reminding ourselves the best trees, the strongest trees don't grow in the best soil. It is grown in the strongest winds. Embrace the life's winds. It's shaping you, it's bettering you, not making you feel bitter.